Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are Let's Playing Legacy of Kane Defiance. In the last episode, we got the Dimension Emblem for the Balance Emblem. And now we are headed into another place as Raziel to find the Fire Reaver. Pretty damn cool. I sought to unravel the mystery of my fate, and in this image lay my first clue. For this scene depicted the forging of the Reaver, the weapon destined to become my prison, and I recognized its maker. The years had changed him, but this was unmistakably the vampire Vorador, and in this era, he still lived. If I could reach him before Mobius's mob hunted him down, he would provide the answers I sought. These images chronicled Vorador's creation. As I already knew, he had not been born a vampire, but had been turned by the infamous Janos Ordren. But this mural suggested that Vorador's origins were even more significant. Apparently, he was the first human to whom the Dark Gift had been passed. This was the vampire's desperate bid to preserve their bloodline, for their enemies had cursed them not only with bloodthirst, but with sterility as well. Yep, so, uh... The only way to pass along their bloodline was, was to turn humans into, uh... vampires, and... their Vlordor, um... He was the first human turned into a vampire, and he, I guess, created the Reaver. The actual Reaver, the blood thing, not the, uh... Not the thing that encases Raziel's soul for some reason. Anyways, I guess Vlorador must have been like a blacksmith or something in his human life, which is pretty cool. It is pretty cool that Vlorador, we will, uh, you know, if we... We've got a clue to meet Florida. Maybe we will. And I like Florida. He's pretty badass. He's one of my favorite characters in this whole series. I think I was telling someone in the comments section during one of these games was if they ever came out with the, uh, a game like spin-off. I wish this it would spirit vessel was not yet activated. Perhaps there was some means for me to awaken it. Yeah, maybe there is. Anyways, I wish that if if ever came out with like a Legacy of Kane spin-off, it would be Vlordor, and it would be his, uh, it would be his thing, his whole little thing between, uh, yeah, remember this room for later. Anyways, it would be like his whole thing of him being a human, then turned into a vampire, and then, uh, helping forge a reaver. Wouldn't that be awesome? And then, you know, after making the reaver, he would, uh, he would, uh, get he would, uh, you would have to go back in time, and, or not back in time, but you'd have to fight the, uh, the Seraphan and massacre everyone. That would be cool after they killed Nianos. Awesomeness. Approaching the tomb, I was met by the specter of the Guardian himself. Eternity weighs heavily. I have a solution. I bear it in atonement. But your moment of existence has passed. Come and be released. Okay, so here's the first of a bunch of boss battles we're gonna do with uh, with Raziel. This is the um, I don't know which guardian it is, but it's uh, it's one of the guardians. I think maybe I think it might be uh, com not combat. I forget what it, one it is. But yeah, basically, we're fighting the souls of the first guardians of the pillars. Basically, I guess that's how we can power up that thing in order to get a reaver. Ow. Conflict, that's what the pillar, I think, is. I think it's conflict. I could be wrong. Raziel will mention what one it is later, so if I do get it wrong, eventually we'll know which one it is. But yeah, this is basically what happens there. You hit him three times, then he does this thing when knocks you back, and keeps summoning, summoning wraiths at you. And you just gotta hit him three times. I get a little, I get very greedy in this battle. There we 
go. And basically his essence, or her essence, or whoever's essence, fills up the thing, but not all the way. See, now if you're playing this game, you're like, oh cool, now we can, now we can come over here and get ourselves some, our, uh, thing, but that's not the case. There are two guardians per, per thingy. Again, keep this in mind because we're going to be doing this a few more times. So let's go in here. And look at this guardian. I was met by the specter of the nature guardian, monstrously deformed since its death centuries ago. Rejoice, creature, for today your spirit will return to the One. Yep, so this is the Nature Guardian, another boss battle. This one summons tentacles. Again, you can hit it three times and it does an ability to knock you back. It also summons projectiles. Just kind of move out of the way of them. Because they're pretty slow. So you hit them three times and move away. Watch out for the tentacles as well. But yeah, it's kind of cool how we're we're kind of uh, I don't know. I I guess we're kind of quelling the spirits of the guardians of the pillars. And like I said, these are the first uh, the first uh, guardians. They are the uh, they are the vampire guardians. And I guess they couldn't rest or something. So Raziel kind of like sets them free by ending them. Right now, let's find out where I can. There we go. Alright. Let's get ourselves some firepower. As the Reaver absorbed the souls of the Nature and Conflict Guardians, it was imbued with the elemental power of fire with which their principles were aligned. I was now equipped to reach the Pillars. Yes. Now we can reach the Pillars and now we have fire. And we almost have all of the elements back that we had in Soul Reaver 2. I think, uh... We have darkness, light, fire, air, and what we want to do is come over here and light these, uh, there's two, uh, lanterns or sconces or whatever the hell these are. Just gotta light them with our fire reaver. Anyways, what else? He had air, air, light, dark, fire. I think that was it. Yeah, air, light, dark, fire. I, th I think that was all the fonts. If I don't, uh, maybe water? Was water one of them? I don't remember, but anyways, uh, we almost got our Reaver powered up back to what it was in the, in Soul Reaver 2. So now what we need to do here is, huh, oh, okay, yeah, there's a switch up there, okay, with our TK ability, and now we gotta be quick, because this thing is on a timer. Come over here and light, and light these two torches. And again, be very quick about it because uh, they will go away. I speak from experience. Now we can get out of here. And there we go. We Not only have we learned something about the Reaver, but we've learned something about who made the Reaver. And if we can find Florador, because if you remember correctly, back in Cain's era, the Blood Omen era, Florador was eventually hunted down and killed uh, by Mobius's uh, vampire hunter people. So uh, we're going to have to be on the lookout for him. 
skip all the keys of Raziel's whole thing. You know what I mean? Anyways, let's go meet Ariel now. Let's get out of here. Whoops, wrong reaver. There we go. That's how the door is not. Hey, guys, what's happening? Let's use a little fire. Now the fire reaver... Alright, let's not... Now the fire reaver is not as powerful as it was in Soul Reaver 1. Where you can use fire projectiles and burn vampires alive and whatnot. It's not even as powerful as it was in Soul Reaver 2. Because, well actually... I don't remember how that worked in Soul Reaver 2. But anyways, let's uh, light these sconces. Basically, when it's powered up, it can burn enemies. And, uh... What's the other thing that can happen? Um, when you use it, when you power it up and then use it, shoot off its uh, reverse spell or whatever, it let, lights people on fire, but doesn't kill them. It gives you a good amount of time to uh, wail away at them. Yeah, and you're going to see this a lot, um, where, where, um, what is it, you'll see like a bunch of like leaves or some crap lying around and there'll be no enemies and then all of a sudden the, the leaves or whatever turn into the dudes, the bad guys. There we go. Now if you remember correctly, this is where Kane flew over here, how about that, very cool, huh? Over here, there's the pillars. Once again, I beheld the pillars of Nosgoth, crumbling in decay now, following the corruption of the circle. Here I would find Ariel, the specter of the murdered Balance Guardian, and the last pure, undefiled member of the Guardian Circle. Bound here upon her death, she was doomed to haunt these pillars until her successor fulfilled his terrible duty and Balance was restored. What manner of creature approaches? I know you well, Ariel, though you do not yet know me. I have no time for riddles, strange one. All you have is time. I have come to seek your guidance. I counsel only one man, and you are not he. But you will know him soon. The contagion of your kind is coming to an end. My kind? What exactly do you think I am? Your name shall remain unspoken, as decreed by our ancestors. You serve the one who so brutally took my life and set this tragedy in motion. But even now, hope is at work. Balance will be restored, and your kind will be expelled forever. You have pinned your hopes on Cain. He will disappoint you. <sighs> What can you know of Cain? More than you could ever fathom. He will do what he must when the time comes. By choosing his own death. A sacrifice for the world. You don't know Cain very well. I know what he is called to do. My faith sustains me. Is it faith or fear? You know that if Cain refuses the sacrifice, you will never leave here. And you begin to suspect... I will not hear your poison, fiend. Grant me the answers I require, and I will leave you to your pathetic delusions. Ask, then. I seek the vampire Vorador. To kill him, perhaps, or to join him in death. But for Cain, he is the last of his kind. Mobius's mob has done its work. My reasons are my own. His refuge lies in the heart of the Black Forest. And may you molder there together until the end comes. Oh, 
All right, so basically we got to find Floridor in the forest, but we'll have to do that in the next 